So first of all, and as always, bienvenidos, welcome to Spain on a Fork. I hope you're doing great out there and you're staying safe and healthy. Anyways, today we're making a dish from Las Islas Canarias, the beautiful Spanish Canary Islands. We're talking a Spanish corn and potato soup. This dish is known in the Canary Islands as un caldo de millo. And let me tell you, it's made with such a beautiful combination of fresh herbs and spices that it gives this soup the biggest explosion of flavors ever. But the best part, this recipe is very easy to make and it comes together in about 40 minutes, folks. This is one of those dishes that's gonna change your life. Okay, it might not change your life, but it's definitely making it to your weekly menu because it is that good. Let's begin by cutting three small to medium sized potatoes. These have already been peeled and washed into small pieces that are half inch thick, which is about 1.25 centimeters. For the next ingredient to prepare, I'm gonna grab two corn on the cobs and cut the kernels from the ear. We wanna end up with two cups of corn kernels, which is about 328 grams. Now these are pre-boiled in the part of Spain where I live. It is virtually impossible to find raw uncooked corn on the cob. It's not like in the Canary Islands where you can find it everywhere. However, to make this recipe, you can totally use it. Just cut it and cook it in the exact same way I am with this corn. And we're also gonna grab one large tomato and finely grate it. We wanna end up with one third of a cup of grated tomato, which is about 75 grams. And reserved, I also have half of a red bell pepper that I roughly diced, half of an onion that's been finely diced, and three cloves of garlic that have been finely minced. All right, let's start cooking our soup. I'm gonna grab a stock pot, heat it with a medium high heat, and add in two tablespoons, which is 30 milliliters of extra virgin olive oil. After about one minute, I'm gonna add in the diced onion, and the diced red bell pepper. And start mixing these ingredients around with that olive oil. You wanna mix this continuously. We are on a medium high heat. That way the vegetables don't burn and they all evenly saute. After about three minutes and the onion is nice and translucent and the bell pepper lightly sauteed, you don't wanna brown it. I'm gonna add in the minced garlic and continue to mix these ingredients around. We're only gonna go for about 30 seconds here. You don't wanna overcook that garlic. You just want it to be nice and aromatic. Then we'll add in our one third cup of grated tomato. Once again, this is about 75 grams. And we're gonna give this a quick mix and simmer the grated tomato just between one to two minutes. That way it can really thicken up and incorporate into the vegetables. After about two minutes, and you can see that grated tomato has really thickened up, I'm gonna add in our pieces of potato, our kernels of corn, a generous half teaspoon of sweet smoked Spanish paprika, which is about 1.30 grams, half a teaspoon of cumin powder, which is about 1.25 grams, and season everything with sea salt, and freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll give this a gentle mix, that way all these ingredients are evenly mixed together. Once everything's well mixed, I'm gonna add in five cups of vegetable broth. This equals one liter plus 200 milliliters. Now the vegetable broth I'm using to make this recipe is homemade. You'll find the recipe on how to make it in the I card above. And I'm also gonna add in a quarter teaspoon of saffron threads. This equals 0.17 grams. Two tablespoons of chopped parsley. This is about seven and a half grams. And a handful of fresh cilantro. This is five grams, which equals about a quarter ounce. And we'll give this a gentle mix and continue to heat it on a medium high heat until it comes to a boil. Once the broth comes to a boil, I'm gonna place a lid on the stock pot and lower the fire from a medium high heat to a low medium heat. And we're gonna simmer this for about 20 minutes. This is enough time for all these flavors to come together and for those potatoes to be perfectly cooked. 
After about 20 minutes, I'm gonna remove the lid from the stock pot. And look at that, look how beautiful this turned out and the aromas are absolutely delicious. You know, you can always tell when your potatoes are perfectly cooked, you just pierce them with a toothpick and if it easily goes in, they are ready to go. For the final step of the recipe, we're gonna poach a couple eggs in there. Before I add my eggs into the pan, I always like to crack them into individual bowls. This ensure that no eggshells go in there and that the egg yolk is not broken. And we'll place the lid back into the stock pot and simmer it for another two to three minutes. This is enough time for the egg whites to fully cook through and for those egg yolks to still have a beautiful creamy texture. After about three minutes, I'm gonna remove the lid from the pan and remove the stock pot from the heat. I'm gonna transfer some of the soup into a shallow bowl Place one of the poached eggs over the soup and sprinkle it with some freshly chopped parsley, folks. Check it out. Our Spanish corn and potato soup is done. Caldo de Mio, an incredible dish from the Canary Islands. Let's give it a try and see how it tastes. I seriously don't think it can get better than this. The aromas are incredible. Here we go. Wowzers. That is so good. The corn adds a beautiful sweet flavor. The potatoes you smell in your mouth. That egg yolk just with the creaminess takes it to the next level. And then that combination of those fresh herbs and those spices, an explosion of goodness. You saw this very easy to make, comes together in a little over 40 minutes. The perfect dish for one of those busy weeknights or even better for a relaxed weekend lunch next to a bottle of Spanish wine. Really quick before I go, a shout out to a couple of my patrons, Martin Giddings, Araminda Darimea, and Richard Brown. Again guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. For the rest of you, if you're not with me on Patreon, consider becoming one. Helps with ingredients and equipment to continue making videos like this. You'll find my Patreon link in the description box below and iCard above. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. Leave me a comment below and if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Smash that subscribe button. Till the next time, hasta luego.